For the smaller ports, I recommend that you use the Precision ports from Parts Express. There is a link to that as well. If you buy from Parts Express, use the code DIY5 for a 5% discount. And yes, that is an affiliate link. There's nothing wrong with affiliate links. That's how content creators make their money. If I didn't have those links in here, I couldn't afford to pay for the website. Very straightforward process. You figure out the size of your enclosure, the recommended specifications from the manufacturer, for example, and you type in a cubic feet. Let's say 2.5. You type in a tuning frequency, let's say 34 hertz, and type in the number of ports. Let's say you want to use two ports, and you want to use, say, hypothetically, some four-inch ports, and hit calculate. Here's what that's going to get you. First thing, it's going to get you a link to where you can buy the port. The next thing, it's going to give you is the effective port length, meaning if you didn't use flares on both ends, you could just use a four inch pipe that's 20 and a half inches long. But if you use one of those flared ports, it's gonna come as a kit with flares, couplers and a straight pipe. The total length of the entire assembly is going to be 21 and a half inches and that is specific to the one that the calculator recommends. The main tube has to be 15 and a half inches. For this four inch precision port the main tube that comes with it is 17 inches long. You'll need to cut that tube down to 15 and a half inches. If you need that main tube portion to be longer than 17 inches you've got to buy an extra tube. You can get those at the same place you can pick up the ports. The calculator is also going to tell you the total port area. That's important information, you're going to need to know that. 